So we are back at the Blues Festival at Upton on Seven. We're here in the Camaro and also my new daily. It's 34 degrees outside and guess who's filming inside a car? So for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, yesterday I posted this picture and I picked up a new car, which I want to unveil to you guys. I'm also doing a meet and greet this evening at the Danery to do an exclusive reveal. The video will go live this evening. Uh, I've already received a flood of messages and no, I did not buy a Bentley. However, a clue to what car I have picked up is that many people refer it to as a Bentley. Uh, people misconceive the car as being based on an E-Class chassis. It's not, it's actually the same chassis that they used in the 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT. And in fact, there's a clip and a few washers that you can buy for the front end of this car to turn it into a Dodge Challenger. The fenders and the bonnet and the bumper will fit onto this car. As if that wasn't enough of a hint, this car was featured in GTA 4 and it was also on the cover of Midnight Club Dub Edition. I am of course talking about the Chrysler 300C, a car I've wanted for such a long time. My previous car uh, was really well abused daily and unfortunately got involved in an accident and got written off. So the time came for me to look for a new car. And at one point I was considering a Jaguar XF. Yeah, we're not gonna get into that, but yeah, I've owned Jaguars before, I've owned Ford, I've owned VWs. And that's not to say I picked some bad cars in the past and maybe that doesn't reflect on the brand itself, but the uh, Jaguar XF didn't really tick all the boxes for me. But yeah, Chrysler 300C. We're gonna do a quick tour of the car. Uh, before we do that, the guy I brought this car off, owned it for eight years and he was in love with Bentley. So there are Bentley badges everywhere. There's a GB sign on the back, which I did remove earlier when washing the car to realize that there was two holes in the boot where the rest of the wings on the Chrysler badge should be. So I had to go back out to Halfords and they didn't have my initials, so I had to buy another GB badge. But uh, yeah, we're gonna walk around the car and uh, I'm going to unveil it here this evening at the Deanery, so if you are coming along you will see this in person. Here's an American car, you will find on the windows it does say Mopar. Uh, it is a right hand drive, it is made for the European market, but you know, you do have these in America. And if you rewind back to last year, I drove the Hemi version of this, uh, which was an experience within itself. But yeah, I wanted to try something different and these cars, you know, there's only around about 10,000 on the UK roads at the moment. And trying to find the right one was a ball game. But I'm glad I held out because it's got what I wanted, the black dash, the wooden interior, and yeah, I held out for the right one. And yeah, let me show you the car. So there she is. Before we get started, I do want to apologise once again for all the Bentley badges. The guy that had the car absolutely loved Bentley, so every single aspect of the car is covered in Bentley badges. As you can see on the front grille, he's drilled this in. We do have some custom Chrysler badges coming within the next week or so. Come around the side, he's changed the set of caps to Bentley badges as well. As you come around the back, he did have some GB badges here, I took them off, but that's actually covering the holes from the wing on the Chrysler badge. And he's also drilled this in. But in terms of body kit, it was what I was looking for. I wanted a black car. It's got the custom body kit on it, which is very rare within itself. More than enough power, turbo V6. And yeah, a private plate will be going right very, very soon. We've got some touch-ups to do. But yeah, it's no doubt going to be a, uh, a car I'm going to do a project on and get some uh, wheels on it, get a wicker bill maybe. He also went as far as putting the light up Bentley signs on the door. As I said, there's a lot of things that I want to change about the car. It has got the darkened dash with the wooden extras. These are a couple of hundred pounds just for the wooden effect interior. Going to put the SRT seats in as well. And yeah, it's going to be a project car and uh, I can't wait to get building on it, get some parts. We've already got some parts being shipped over from America. So yeah, first car show, but uh, yeah, more to come, more to come. Check out the engine bay on this one. 
work of art and if I'm not incorrect that's Marilyn Monroe on top of the engine right there. Even Donald Trump's made an appearance. Check out this Mac 1 Mustang. Challenger of the day. <laughs> I love the digital style tail lights on this. Three SDMs on this Corvette Z06. Back at this car once again to check out the paintwork on the back parcel shelf. And also on the dashboard. A few of the members are here from the Black Country Cruisers. You can just see the Camaro took down the back there. These Dodge Nitros. This is another car I was uh, looking at buying if I didn't go for the Chrysler. Very interesting story behind this Camaro. Pause the video to read it. So the festival is well underway over there, and here's the lineup of cars. One of the most rarest of the modern American cars here today would be the Pontiac Solstice. I think you don't see many of, especially the convertible version. We've got the Blues Brothers over there, and here's their car.
drag racing focus from last year. It's got the Ford Mustang engine in it with the drag radials. meant to be a cruise this afternoon unfortunately it's starting to rain like it did last year so a few of the american cars are getting ready to leave uh, we might not stay for a cruise either just considering the weather So despite the weather which couldn't be helped i've had a fantastic day i did upton on seven last year it was pretty much the same weather wise but i didn't take part in the convoy because i didn't have you know an american car and it was nice to be accepted by the aac uk and also the black country cruisers i go to a lot of their meets so it was nice to be accepted and yeah we had a fantastic time going on the high street as well not sure if the audio picked up but at least four or five times people were saying oh where's the president's car and um yeah obviously we had some drunk people causing problems with the convoy, but that's to be expected at a uh, four day weekend of partying and whatnot. But nonetheless, had a fantastic time. And uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe I should do something presidential with this car. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.